As mentioned in the first video, what's this hydromulching all about? We normally include some quick growing but short living cover grass seed to improve early erosion protection. More permanent varieties are usually slower to grow and should be selected to suit the site. Whether native or commercial, different species suit different climates, soil types and pH. Also, consider the future use of the site. Will the area be mown or left untended? Most native seeds are seasonally hand collected, so are relatively much dearer than commercial species and may not always be available. More vigorous commercial grasses will be easier and cheaper to establish than natives and may provide better protection for an area. If pasture species previously populated an area or still flourish nearby, they are likely to invade and dominate the site within a few years, regardless of what is planted. But in pristine areas, the introduction of exotic species is certainly to be discouraged, and the ideal solution would be arranging to harvest seed from the site as different species ripen over the year prior to work commencing. Another option could be appropriate selection for the site from seed collected elsewhere, although there are thousands of species native to Australia and not all are collected. Even Australian species can be weeds when growing in the wrong place. Some grasses commonly thought of as natives are in fact exotic. A few, including green cooch, Cynodon dactylon, are generally accepted as naturalised throughout the subtropical areas of the world so it is often a sensible choice for most of southeast Queensland. With regular mowing it produces a tidy lawn but even if untended does not grow very high. Finally, if you're waiting for rain to make your hydromulch grow and would like to check on its potential germination, just peel up some mulch and press it onto sand in a pot that can be kept wet for a week or so. Then place it somewhere you can keep an eye on it. Thanks for your attention I hope this was a little more interesting than watching grass grow.